Welcome to our lesson about the edge flange. Let's start by activating the tool. When the edge selection area is active, we can select one or more edges. When I select the edges and then move the mouse, the preview flange follows. A left click will specify the length as well as the direction. Now we're able to select a second edge. Here is a preview of the second edge flange. Click on a magenta arrow to reverse the flange direction. And see that gray arrow on my first flange? We can grab and drag it to adjust the flange length. It is magenta when active, but will revert to gray. Once again, I left click to finalize the length of the edge flange. To remove the edge flange, we simply select the edges again. The next option is to use a default radius. The default radius is specified in the Sheet Metal feature. If I uncheck this option, I can specify a custom bend radius. Below, we can specify the flange angle. The default is 90 degrees. The next control area is where we specify flange length. Click this button to reverse the direction. Enter a value for the length in this field. And choose the end condition from this drop down menu blind, up to vertex, or up to edge and merge. The last option, up to edge and merge, this option lets us merge two sheet metal bodies together. I'll be showing you how this option works later on in this course. For now, I'm going to use the blind end condition option. We'll select it from this menu. Next, here we can specify the origin of the measurement. Inner virtual sharp or outer virtual sharp. Let's take a right view to better illustrate the difference between these choices. If outer virtual sharp is selected, the length of the flange is measured between this edge and this edge. If inner virtual sharp is selected, the length is measured between this edge here and this edge. The next section controls flange position. We've got four options here. Material inside, material outside, bend outside, and bend from virtual sharp. The easiest way to explain these options is with a demonstration. Material inside, let's check that out first. This option positions the edge flange inside the selected edge. Material outside. This will position the flange outside the selected edge. The third option, bend outside. This will position the flange and the bend region outside the selected edge. And the last option we've got here is bend from virtual sharp. Let's demonstrate. I'll adjust the angle to 60 degrees, and let's select Bend from Virtual Sharp. Now if Inner Virtual Sharp is selected under Flange Length, this line will intersect with this edge here. If Outer Virtual Sharp is selected, this line will intersect with this edge right here. Another option we can specify is Custom Bend Allowance. We can also specify custom relief type. I'm going to be looking at these in subsequent lessons in this course. At this point, I'm going to click OK. And here is our bent flange. This concludes our lesson about the edge flange. Now we'll take a look at some of the other options on the edge flange property manager.